Hello, all of my Capricorns, okay? Um, welcome to you all's March 20th through 26th uh, week forecast reading. This is, um, yeah, this is that reading for you all. Now, before we get into the tarot, we're going to go ahead and tap on some key astrology points that I found very interesting and important for you all to know. All right, so the sun will be transitioning out of Pisces into Aries this week, which gives this overall energy of newness, new opportunities, new beginnings, new cycles, um, new life, okay? Um, also with the sun, it is exhausted in Aries. So throughout basically all of this week, okay, there's this energy, overall energy of exaltation, okay, and everything that's being done, especially things that deals with like the sun, okay? So um, moving on to the moon, the moon will start off in Libra this week and it will end in Aquarius. This is giving the energy of our mind and thoughts affecting our emotions very heavily and or vice versa, okay? Also with the moon, the major phase that's going to happen this week is the last quarter uh, phase in Capricorn, which is giving this energy of letting go and releasing things, okay, in order to move forward in life, get a, a, a great step or a jump start ahead in life. Um, one, also giving us some grounding and uh, stability. Two, and three, um, releasing things so that we can learn lessons, okay? Um, yeah. And lastly, we're looking at Mars, okay? And Mars will be in Aquarius, which is giving us this energy and telling us that we are going to be geared more towards actions that deals with occurring things, okay? So this is innovation, future, uh, futuristic type of things, innovation, rebellion, and, you know, other sorts of things that deals with Aquarius, unconventional things, you know? And that's kind of different for Capricorn, okay? Now, let's go ahead and get into uh, your tarot. So we're going to get three cards from this Attack on, tar uh, attack on Tarot, Attack on Titan deck. 222 was just on a timer. Y'all may want to go ahead and look up that angel number as well. But yeah, we are going to get three cards from this Attack on Titan deck, three cards from this Illuminati Tarot deck, okay? So from this Attack on Titan deck, the first card is going to tell us the overall energy for all my Capricorns this week. Second card is going to give us the underlying energy that is going to explain why you all have the card that you have that comes out for you all's overall energy for this week. And then the third card from this deck it's going to give us the energy that's driving all of my Capricorns this week. So we have our first card um, for the overall energy. Let's get one card for the um, underlying energy. Here it is. And then let's get one card, Spirit, for the, oh yeah, the energy that's driving my Capricorns. Let's go ahead and get three cards from this deck. The first card is going to be the protagonist energy that tells us how you all can tap into these major energies for you all this week. Second card is going to give us the antagonist energy that's telling us potential blockages and or distractions that's going to keep you all from tapping into these major energies um, of this week. And then last and third card from this deck, it's going to give us the advice considering the protagonist and antagonist. Okay, so one card for the protagonist. Here she is. Okay, antagonist and fucking advice. Give me that. Hello. <laughs> okay, yeah. Anyways, here we go. So you all's overall energy for this week is the lovers. Okay. Same card, same position that Taurus had. So you all may be falling in love with some Tauruses. I don't know. Or you all may be falling in love with yourself or with some significant other this week. Or maybe even falling in love with you all's passions. Okay, your dreams, aspirations. Definitely Capricorn loves doing that. Okay, um, we love a good person who knows how to fall in love with what they do, okay, with what they love doing in life, okay? Definitely, that is the overall energy that's coming through. There's this energy of bliss that's also coming through this week for you all. Finally, I don't know why I'm saying finally. Maybe you all may have been dealing with some things lately. I don't know. Let's see. Um, we have temperance as the underlying energy. So the reason why you have this leverage card coming out is because of temperance. You all have learned and mastered in a way, and to a certain extent, um, tempering you all's own emotions, mind, body, and spirits, right? 
you've balanced all of those, okay? You found a way to balance all of those and still be able to work and do whatever it is that you need to do and uh, do at the same time what it is that you want to do. Um, and you, and that's what's bringing like this um, very uh, blissful type of energy and moment here this week for my Capricorns. So let's look at the energy that's driving you all. Hold on, because my refrigerator just turned on like you disrespectful. All right, we are back. So the energy that's driving my Capricorns, oh yeah, is the Emperor. Okay, this is Aries energy. I'm sorry, this Temperance is Child Sagittarius energy, and this Gemini is, I mean, Lovers is Gemini energy. Yeah, so the Emperor is what's driving y'all. Y'all are determined. Y'all will not be deterred. Y'all will not be stopped. Y'all will not cease. Okay, y'all have recently regained y'all power, tap into y'all power, um, or fully owned y'all power. Y'all fixed y'all crown in a sense. I'm liking this energy for Capricorn. Let's go ahead and look at the protagonist energy, the Ten of Wands. If that's not the epitome of Capricorns, y'all are the workaholics, the, the, the workhorses of the zodiac sign. Okay? What I'm getting is hanging in there, continuing to, um, continuing on in you all's journey. Like I said, I was kind of getting this energy of, um, like you all possibly going through some things or whatnot, right? You all are right at the brink of a new beginning. Y'all are right at the brink of a breakthrough for you all's uh, lives. What's being asked of you all is to continue on you all's journey. You all are doing perfectly fine. You are where you are supposed to be, okay? Keep pushing. Stay happy. And start tapping into this energy of love, okay? Um, and find reasons to be happy, okay, and to um become blissful in your life, okay. Now, the antagonist energy, ah, oh, interesting, the empress. So, what I'm getting here, okay, for the antagonist energy or the potential blockage or distraction for you all this week is, um, I'm getting one seduction, um, from seduction um, from things that does not serve you, right? So I'm kind of actually getting devil card energy with this Empress being this antagonist energy. Hmm. And then we have the couple here, the Emperor and the Empress. Hmm. Yeah, definitely what I'm getting for you all this week, especially with us going into uh, uh, Aries season, definitely the passive, the passivity it's not what's gonna serve you all. Y'all, y'all got y'all standing your ground. Y'all doing what y'all need to do. Y'all taking control of y'all life. Y'all taking control of the things that's going on in your life. Right? Um, y'all not allowing things to just um just have its way with you, right? No. Y'all not just sitting there being cute and just taking it and being quiet. No, that's not what's being advised, okay? At all. <laughs> Um, and that's actually what's going to, um, what's the word? Block you all from tapping into this energy is being quiet, being passive, kind of being in a, um, I'm not saying being in divine feminine energy. Definitely. You need to balance your divine masculine and divine feminine energy out. But what I'm hearing is that you all probably have just kept your mouth shut about things that's been going on, but now it's not the time for that. Now it's the time to claim your throne, fix your crown and claim your empire. Period. Okay. Lovely. Um. Last. Uh, lastly, look. We have the alchemist, the magician. Definitely, it's time to work. It's time to put your shit in sport gear. Okay. It's time to put it in sports gear. It's time to gear that shit up. Put the pedal to the metal. The gas pedal. Okay. Um. But yeah. Oh yeah, y'all have manifest. Y'all been manifesting. The advice is to manifest and to focus on what it is that you desire and move towards it with passion and inspired action. But that's all I have for my lovely Capricorns. With that being said, love, light, peace, power, and abundance to you all. I share our man and period. Deuces, Capricorns.